everyone! I'm giving this three-story Barbie doll dream house from 2006 a makeover. In this video, I'm working on the bathroom. I found this dollhouse on Facebook Marketplace and I think I paid $25. And it came with all the original furniture. First thing I have to do is give the bathroom a good cleaning. I'm using this gift wrap paper roll from the dollar store. It's thicker than the regular rolls. Perfect for dollhouse wallpaper. First thing I did, it was paint all the windows black. Actually, the exterior of the dollhouse is almost finished. I'm going to switch the hardware around too. I like the tubs better for the sink. Then I thought it would be great if I can open and close this cabinet for toiletries. Even though I know Barbies don't use toiletries, I thought it would be really cool. I'm not sure what's behind this plastic, but it was a struggle to get it cut. Yay, the inside looks good. Phew, that wasn't easy. I'm measuring the vanity because I'm going to create the look of timbre. This is what timbre looks like. I'm using the cereal box. Plus I measured the curvature of the vanity and it's pretty close to the glass vase. So I secured the cardboard to the glass vase with zip ties. Then I cut my little dowels. I had to be careful because I didn't have too many of the size. After I cut them all, I glued them all to the vase. I did it in two parts because I want to cut the lower piece to create cabinet doors that open.
While that's drying, I'm going to work on the vanity. I'm using this big craft stick for my shelf. I sand and clean up some of the plastic bits before I paint. I also painted the hamper white. painted the craft stick white and another piece of wood to help with the shelf. I used this bendy straw as my plumbing. I painted it black. And this wire for some other plumbing stuff. At least that's what mine looks like. Almost looks like. I put in the wood block and then my shelf right on top of it. Then the plumbing. It's not perfect, but it'll do, since, you know, there's no running water. I glued on some cardstock to level out the front of the cabinet so my tamper strips would glue on better and stronger. My tamper is dry. I trim some of the edges, trying to even it all out, and then I give it a good sanding. It's not perfect. I should have been more careful when I was gluing them on. I removed them too soon so I had to put them back on so it would be easier to measure and cut to size. Made some mistakes, but I think when I try this again, which I will because I really like how it looks, I'll know better. I measured to find the center of the vanity and then I glued on my timbre. I should have painted the timbre before gluing it onto the vanity. Oh well, I'll know better next time, right? Let me know in the comments section if you think I should try painting or staining it. I cut small strips from the same cereal box for the countertop to make it bigger. I should have used the glass base for the curvature, but I didn't. I glue the strips onto the countertop.
Then I use spackle to even out all the edges and hide the cardboard bits. Then I sanded and painted it. I wasn't happy with the finish, so I did it again with different spackling. I should have covered the wall and windows, it kind of got messy. Looks good so far. I'm afraid to cut open the timbre. So I'll work on something else. I grabbed some of these small samples from Home Depot. It's perfect as a backsplash. I glued it to the back. I'll worry about the window on the outside when I finish the exterior. I made a small shelf with craft sticks and some cardboard. Then I covered the gaps with wood filler and sanded it. Then I painted the faucets black. The faucets were bigger, so I cut the plastic thingy off and glued them in. I made a mess with the spackling, so I cleaned up and did some paint touch-ups. I painted the feet black. I should have done it before gluing on the timbre, but silly me forgot. Now for the flooring. I don't want to paint, so I think I'll do something I can remove anytime. I made a template with some paper. Copied it onto some Bristol board, cut it and then applied some marble looking shelf paper. I also struggled with the shelf paper. But it turned out okay. Perfect. And I can change it anytime I want. 
I made a little yarn wall hanging. I'm actually starting an Etsy shop soon. I'll be selling some of these wall hangings. And I made this cute little plant hanger with plastic egg from the dollar store. I painted it white and then wrapped yarn around it. I painted it so the yellow wouldn't show through the yarn. I'm going to make it a little fancy, so I made a small tassel with my new thingamajig. My thingamajig helps me get a tight knot on the tassel. I found this really cool wired greenery at the dollar store, perfect for making hanging plants. But it did cover most of the cuteness of my hanging planter. I love how that turned out. Maybe I should add some of these to my Etsy shop too. And I made a simple toilet paper holder with some coffee stir sticks and a small wire. I made the toilet paper rolls with my toilet paper rolls. Perfect. A small crocheted rug and there you go. I love how it turned out. I wanted to finish the whole thing before I opened up those cabinets, just in case it didn't go well. Let's check out some before and after shots.
Okay, I took all the pretty pictures. Now it's time to get this thing opened. I've been avoiding it. Cutting it wasn't too bad. These are the only hinges I have. I added some sticks to the inside for the hinge. Crossed my fingers and it didn't work very well. I did try a few times, maybe it's the hinges, maybe I need two, I don't think that was it. I think it's because those sticks are in the way for it to open, but I can't remove it. Maybe if I make a hinge with a straw and remove the stick, but then I'll have to paint it all white. It made me sad that I couldn't make it work. Do you have any tips for me? I'm gonna keep trying. Hopefully I can get it to open and close. If I can't, I'll just glue them back on. There's still a few things I want to do for this bathroom. I need a towel rack, some lighting, and I need to fix those cabinets. My next makeover video will be the kitchen. I want to remove the washer and dryer, maybe create a laundry room diorama. I want to move the stove to this side of the kitchen and add some more cabinets. I'll need to practice that. I definitely want the kitchen cabinets to open and close. Thanks so much for watching. Please tell me what you think of the new bathroom. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bye for now.